Hello guys and you're welcome. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can set up the Godot editor using the Dracula theme. So I'll just go ahead and open up Godot and quickly show you how that theme looks like. It's nice and properly. I think maybe if I jump on to a script and kind of like maximize this, you can see how this looks like. This is super awesome and very nice. Just like the Dracula theme you have in Visual Studio Code. So the first thing we'll do is to head over to draculatheme.com this is the website and the way I like to do it is there's a way to install it using git but first step is to download this zip file so I'll click on download to download the zip file and I'll have that saved somewhere where I can access it so let's just go over here and this is it over here the godot master zip just right click and extract that and you're actually going to have this file right here with the godot master if you open it up you'll see your theme.tres, but that's not what we're interested in. So this is where we have this document right here. Now to have access to the path of where that theme is, so let's do a Windows R and then let's just grab the theme, left click and grab the theme and just drop this here and then copy this path. So this is the download path. This is where our theme is. So I'll just go over here and just paste this here. So this is where it is. So the next thing we're going to do is to find the installation path where Godot is. And on the Windows system, it's usually in the roaming file. So I'll just quickly show you where you can find that. So first, let's go to our drive C. Let's go to your users. And sometimes you'll find your computer name if you registered it with your name. But here, I'll just click on PC. And right here, I'll go to app data. Now, sometimes app data might be hidden. So you might need to literally on hide app data so that you can actually see app data. So I'll just click on app data, go to roaming and then search for Godot. It's right here. And this is the location of our editor settings. So basically what we want to do is to merge where we downloaded that Godot theme to the editor settings using the command line. So again, I'll press Windows R to bring up the run and I'll just left click and drag this object here so I can get the path. And this is the path where we want to install this to. So let's go ahead and open up our notepad and then we'll just drop this right here. So this is the download location and this is the Godot settings this is where the godot is so the edit editor settings if you're using godot 3 this might actually be 3 not 4 and we'll just leave it like so so that's super good so i'll just minimize this and let's go over to the web page and see what they asked us to do so basically this is the get content right so this is actually a function if you use the command line this is the function so this is the we're going to do get content in fact, I'm just going ahead and copy this and drop this in our little notepad. So I'll go over here and I'll paste this. So this is the get content and we're told the obtained path slash team .theres. So this is the path where I have mine. It's in my downloads folder and this is the team .tres. And then next we're going to use this add content. I'll just go ahead and copy that as well. And don't forget to use this ampersand logo because it's not going to work. So I'll just maximize this. And I'll just drop that or I think that's the or look or uh, icon and then go to add content space bar. And I'll take this like so copy this or I'll just cut it and paste it right here. So basically we're going to get the content where Godot is installed, which is right here where we downloaded and extracted this, the theme.trs file. So this is the path. And then we're going to use the add content command and then get the path where we want to merge. So basically this is merging the location where this object was downloaded to the location where this object is going to be installed. So I'll just take this entire line and copy that. Now let's just go ahead and see. And basically this is it, this is the folder and path that you need to do. And the other thing you need to do is make sure you just open Godot once and then uh, close it. So basically open Godot. Let's say for instance, Godot is closed. So I'm just going to open it like so. 
so once it's opened you don't even need to go into a project and just quickly close godot like so so the next thing we're going to do is to open up the the powershell looking for so copy that and then drop that in powershell and press the return key and if it doesn't throw any errors it means it has worked and if you go over to your godot and open it it will actually be uh once you actually see that purplish kind of theme that means you're actually in uh, you're using the dracula uh, mode so that's it so it works with powershell i believe i need to have administrator rights on my command line basically maybe that's why it didn't work or and but it's saying it doesn't understand this call action this function here so get content and then add content so basically that's how you can install godot uh, themes external themes and especially a theme we have from the dracula theme so hopefully that helps and uh yeah thank you very much for watching